everyone, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my eyebrow routine, waxing, tinting and how I shape them and everything. So if you want to see how I do it, I've just done them before filming my intro, then keep watching, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'm doing a giveaway at 250 subscribers, so if you want to be in a chance with that, then hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you all in a second. Uh, showing you my eyebrow routine itself. So I'm going to show you first the tinting part of things and then once my wax is heated up I'll explain to you my waxing machine and like the waxing part of things. So I've just got a towel on me because obviously obviously things could get quite messy um, and I wouldn't want it going anywhere so I've just zoomed you in. The first thing I do is take a cotton pad with some makeup remover on and I just put that through my eyebrows they don't need doing like really badly at the moment but the tint is rubbing off and um hairs are coming back and it annoys me so I just like to get them done and keep them in shape so as you can see it's a lot lighter than this one is because I filled this one in and then the next thing that I like to do or I don't really like to do it but I guess you kind of have to is take some uh, Vaseline or anything that's petroleum jelly base and put this around the areas that I don't want my eye uh, that I don't want to tint so obviously you don't want to get it on your skin so you're gonna put some petroleum jelly around your eyebrows just so it doesn't dye your skin and you want to apply it quite thick and generous because um, then it's less likely don't worry if you miss anywhere because you can clean up just after you've applied the uh, tin so once I've done that I'm going to take my little dish like it's a dish like this um, that you put your dye in and the activator drops and I have two dyes at the moment this one which is medium no natural brown and this one's light brown I use natural brown because it's a tiny bit darker I use the other one on my mum and my sisters because they prefer lighter brows and what you want to do is um, <coughs> apply the amount that you feel is necessary I like to apply about a centimeter sized drop in there and then you take your activating drops and apply I apply three drops of that and then mix it together and then once you've done that just start putting it on your eyebrows the reason I like to tint mine first is because it picks up all the fine hairs which I find makes shaping quite easy when you come to waxing them And then once I've applied it, I just like clean up around the edges. And then, as you saw, I just cleaned up around the edges, just in case you didn't put the uh, Vaseline anywhere. Doing that just ensures that it's only going to do that part of your eyebrow. And if there's anywhere you feel like you missed, just keep adding dye. The other thing is that this stuff literally cost me, um, like for everything that I've bought, £35 for everything and the amount of stuff I have and the amount of times I can use this before it runs out just makes it completely worth it to me. And I'll link everything that I got below, the most of it, in fact all of it I got off eBay, uh, my waxing machine which I'll show you in a second in fact I'll show it you now it's quite mucky uh, I paid 18 pounds for I think or 
19 or something and that come with the machine uh, a tub of wax some waxing strips which were these paper ones and these um like the kind of lollipop sticks i guess but these are the really thick ones that i don't like using so i got all that included in that price and then i prefer the um muslin waxing strips so i bought some of these separately and these were about three pounds for a hundred which will last you forever because you only need like one uh, when you do your eyebrows I also bought the dye obviously which was $4.99 for this and $4.99 for that one and then I bought some of the smaller sticks because I didn't like using the thick ones and they were about £2 in fact I didn't pay $4.99 for that I got this in a set and I got this this and this all together for eight pounds so the activator the dye in this cost eight pound and then i ordered um a brush separate which was like a pound but you could use any brush it's like a little art brush so i'm just going to show you my kit it's a bit mucky at the moment but this is the machine i got it's one of the miley wax machines and this nozzle on the front you turn it to high and then once your wax is melted you can turn it to a medium setting which will keep it at like a, a runny consistency but not really hot i like to test to see if the tint is ready i just take some of the cleansing micellar makeup remover or whatever on the cotton bud and i just type take a bit off at the end because i feel like those bits aren't as is important and that just tells me whether it's activated enough and whether i feel like it's dark enough for me and that looks about right so i'm just going to do the same as before and just run this through it so it gets all of that off so that's that part done and as you can see my eyebrows are looking quite thick and now I'm just going to start waxing. So I've dipped my little thing in there. And then you're just going to take it on your eyebrow. You don't want to apply it too close. Because then you're more likely to take hairs away that you don't want to remove. And the thinner layer you apply, the more likely it is to remove hairs sorry if this is in the way I can't see what I'm doing otherwise maybe I should put it back up here so then once you've done that you're just going to apply your strip and once you press this down that's going to move the wax that was here down to the top of your eyebrow so that gap that there was shouldn't be there any longer and you just want to firmly press and then once you apply the wax you always wax away so you wax like away from the hair growth and just tear it off and if you do miss hairs you just have to wait a couple of days because you can't go over the same place well you can but it's more likely um, to bruise your skin which nobody wants So once I've done that side, I just do the same here. I tend to get a little closer down the end there because my hairs get quite long there and thick so I like to remove a couple more and just doing the same again firmly pressing and then ripping the other direction the tricky part is when you go underneath I find that to be the hardest part of this um, but I just take obviously the brush and try very gently to go underneath the brow as I say it is a lot harder to do that one 
than the top of your eyebrow because you have a lot more room to work on the top but again just firmly pressing and then pull away ow that one hurt never had one hurt as much as that and then just do the same down the side And that's it basically there isn't much difference in the shape of my eyebrow because I do shape them quite regular I do this like once every few weeks like once every two weeks I do this just to keep them um, at bay I suppose and then obviously you're gonna do the same down the middle because those hairs are the worst them stupid fair hairs that you get down there So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful then please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, I would really really appreciate it. Any other suggestions um, leave a comment below and I will try and film them for you and I will see you all next week with another video. Thanks for watching, bye!